hey everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to Two Turtles Homestead. Glad to have you here. Today I wanted to bring you along on a little journey that I had uh, a few weeks ago. I stopped by a local Goodwill thrift store. Um, just went in browsing around, see what I could find, and I uh, was happy to have found a $10 like new Magic Chef bread machine. So um, come on along, I'll show you my journey with that. We'll see if my $10 uh, bread machine turned out to be a trash or a treasure. Okay, so here is the bread machine. As you can see, it is a magic chef. But as you can see, there is my receipt. It was $9.99, so with tax it was $10.96. And uh, you can see there's no scuffs or apparent um, things on it. I mean, it looks like it is literally brand new. So, um, And then I opened up the... The lid and then inside the pan you can see that it doesn't even appear to have been used so um, so I'm gonna get it all cleaned up and sanitized and all that good stuff uh, before I use it and then we're gonna we're gonna make a loaf of bread I'm gonna try I'm gonna do two different things with this to make sure it works because he said I had um, two days to, to use it and abuse it and if it does if it stops working I can take it back but you know, I told him if it made two loaves of bread, it was worth $10. So uh, I'm going to make just my artisan dough that I make my uh, dinner rolls with. I'm going to make a loaf of bread and let it bake a loaf of bread to, to make sure that it is fully functional in the way that it should. Okay, so I have uh, cleaned uh, the inside. I've wiped it all out and cleaned the top. I ran the, um, I ran the pan through my dishwasher and got that all sterilized and... Ready to go, so here we go. Let's plug her in, see if we got power. And power comes on. So I'm gonna actually just select um, the dough cycle and just hit start without anything on it. Make sure that everything is turning and before I put all the ingredients in there. So here we go. And it looks like it is actually working. So the paddle is spinning. See that? All right, so I'm gonna hit stop on there. And um, we'll see, so now let's put some ingredients in there and see if it'll make a, uh, see if it makes our dough for us. I am using my trusty, tried and true dinner roll recipe. to the timer this process should take an hour and a half quick update it's been uh, almost 30 minutes and looks like the dough has um, needed and I do feel there's some condensation on the window and I feel heat so it, it is now in its rising phase so it's got an hour and a, one hour and one minute left so we'll check back so far so good on the magic shelf okay so the bread machine just beeped that it is finished so we will get a look at the bread oh it looks pretty all right so now this is for my dinner rolls so I'm going to take this out and shape them into rolls and get them baked up and then next up we will cook a loaf of bread in this machine.
been 58 minutes and it says it's done. We'll see. Ooh, it looks pretty. I'm going to get it out of here and see how it looks. an interesting shape of bread it's kind of a, and this is the reason that I don't bake bread in the bread machine because it leaves the paddle in there <laughs> well I must say that uh, I'm happy with my thrift store find it turned out to be a true treasure I made actually two loaves of bread in it and made these uh, dinner rolls slash hamburger buns uh, worked pretty good, so I'm quite happy with it. So my $10 and some change um, bread machine has turned out to be a thrift store treasure. So hey, thanks for coming along on my little thrift store adventure. Uh, let me know in the comments if you've had good luck finding your own treasures at your local thrift stores. I'd love to hear about them. And if you like our content, I hope that you'll subscribe to the channel and follow us along on our journey. You never know what adventure we're going to go on. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.